Hello there, what is going on everybody? Today we're taking a look at the Star Wars Black Series Lando Calrissian Skiff Guard. We're going to be unboxing this thing for you and taking a look at it and of course we're going to pose it and play with it and do all of that. Uh, this is number 76 and if you'd like to take a look at the back of the box, go ahead and pause the video right now. If you are new here, there is still time to enter the latest giveaway. I'm giving away a Star Wars Black Series Force FX lightsaber in the form of an Amazon gift card. So all you have to do is become a subscriber if you're already one you're halfway there and uh, make sure you leave a comment let me know if you are excited about billy d williams returning in star wars episode 9 all right guys let's go ahead and pop this thing out of the box all right here he is out of the box folks and uh my initial impressions are wow this is a remarkable figure for a number of reasons but uh yes it's like it's just it's great to see more Lando figures. I thought he was such an important character in the movies. I actually named one of my sons Lando, and I just, you know, I, I just think it's a kind of a bum rap that he ends up being like a, you know, he doesn't come out until like maybe the fifth wave of Black Series, and like he should, should, he's like basically a principal character. You know, we get Jedi Luke before, you know, we had like seven Lukes before we had our first Lando, so it's nice to get a second Lando now. So uh, let's talk about this figure. First off, the accessories are really cool. Look, I'm going to talk about these first. Um, we do have this vibro axe here. Now there aren't really any paint applications on it, but it is painted at least one color, and this is not the default plastic co color. It is painted solid, like a gunmetal color. So that much is nice, although it is solid throughout. Uh, at least it's not the cheap plastic-looking color. Uh, you know, and it, it, it would be nicer if it was multi-tone, but at least it's got a single type of paint on it. Um, now we're going to talk about the, uh, by the way, just look at, look at this, look at this helmet. I'm going to start off talking about the helmet because the helmet is just stupendous. Look at like every single bone in there. You can see so much detail on this helmet at the top. All of this, uh, I mean, this texture is just amazing. Um, uh, I'm really, really pleased with the amount of paint and, and detail in this helmet. It's Super, super cool. Um, all right, that being said, those are the accessories. Let's go ahead and look at the, the, the head. First off, this is an incredible likeness to Billy Dee Williams. They're, you know, the Black Series has really stepped up their game lately. I do have a little bit of paint problem right there on the cheek. There you can see, but it's not that bad. Um, but boy, the eyes are just dead on. That just looks just like him. You know, it's like he's staring at you. He's like, hmm. The Empire arrived just before you did a, you know, it's just, it's great. I love it. All right. So um, now moving down the rest of the model uh, and, and the hair too is actually really good too. Um, so the rest of the model, we have a really great textured cloth tunic and then these leather straps too. And like the leather looks like leather too. It's like just a really great looking texture on this part. Uh, we have his, his uh, steel or bronze chest piece here. And uh, the, sh the shoulder guards are actually cool because they kind of go in. They have uh, this little peg that'll go in here so you can actually keep that, um, you know, keep it down tight uh, and, and have it move with his, his arm and just make it look more natural when you're posing it too, which is really cool. Um, we've got metallic paint on the bracers there. And well, only the one bracer. This one doesn't have it. Um, our belt looks pretty good. A little bit of paint mix missing right here, like it uh, they kind of missed. And instead of getting the belt, they got part of the, uh, the, the you know the, the the tunic. But it's a little imperfection there. Uh, let's see. We got uh, the legs pretty standard. Um, our boots. Uh, we actually do have paint on the buckle, which is nice, and two tone on the boots. So the boots are looking pretty good. Pretty good, and we've got our straps up here going up to the uh, up to the knee. Very nice. For articulation, I like this figure a lot. Starting with the head, the head does go back a little bit and is able to look up a little bit. Um, it actually has a good amount of flexibility looking down, so we, we've got a decent range of motion from looking up and down. Could be a little better, but that's not half bad. Uh, and now we also, go, obviously, we got a full 360, and uh, we get a little bit of side to side, so we can get a little bit of those poses. And as well um, for our shoulders we do have a shoulder joint that goes up about about yay high so that's good and we have the joint and the swivel but if you do start to rotate them a little bit you're gonna notice that this 
pops out. So you'll just want to keep that in mind if you're trying to pose them. Then you can pretty easily pop those out, and that happens on both sides. All right. Um, elbows are really, really fantastic. They're, they're slightly different. So on this one, we're able to get beyond 90 degrees, which is really, really nice. But this one, I mean, you're going in almost all the way. That's an incredible, that's, you know, you've only got 45 degrees left. So you're going in so far uh, on this one. You're, you can really get a lot of poses in with that. Um, I love that. And that's really always been my biggest problem with the Black Series for a long time is is the elbows um and so we're just getting a ton of of bendability right there i love the range of motion we do have a joint in the wrists but at least on mine they're a little stiff um we don't want to really move out all that much but then they also we can spin them and it's the same on the other one um, although on this one the joint is going like up side and so we just get a little bit of give in the wrist but of course it spins as well for our abdomen, we got a pretty good range of motion for our ab crunch here, and we can spin that around. And we can we get a pretty good you know workout yoga yoga belly D right here, and uh, and for our legs, they are going to be expen ex go about about that far. Uh, he can kick forward pretty far, and he can move backwards a decent amount. Uh, good flexibility there. We do have double jointed knees, and that's I mean all the way back. That's a perfect a perfect knee joint, right? Um, and here as well, we can go all the way back there. So perfect, uh, you know, full range of motion on the knees. And of course, we do have uh, an ankle joint and ankle pivot. And we, that'll really get us a lot of flexibility. So here he is next to our original Lando from the Black Series. And if we look at them a little closer, we can see um, the, just the differences between the faces. It's really a night and day difference. Uh, it's so far superior to the other one and this one was good at the time like this was a pretty good lando at the time uh, but this one's just just miles better miles better like this one could just be like any other guy the skin tones are different as well um, just for consistency's sake uh, we can fit that uh, on here and also it, it, the only thing is it doesn't really go down as much as you would like you know just like like he does in and this one he kind of pulls it down so you can see i guess it goes down pretty far you can see past the knees but it's like it was like up like that in the movie and then he's just like oh let me pull this down so the audience knows i'm actually a lando you know <laughs> but yeah you can fit this on other characters as well if you wanted to uh oh and you can you can kind of pull it down past the chin if you want i don't know i don't want to break it though here he is guarding Jabba's palace from some type of hero in disguise. Although before you complain, yes, I realize it's impossible to have both Leia in two places at once. But we didn't know who that was at the time, did we? No, we sure didn't. And here he is defending Tatooine and Jabba's palace's territory, territory from a couple of other scavengers in the Dune Sea. All right, guys, I think this figure is absolutely fantastic. I wasn't uh, sure about how he was going to, you know, look and pose out of the box, but I think this may be one of the best Black Series figures as far as articulation in a long time. So I'm really, really happy to add this one to my collection. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. I want to give a big thanks to my patrons on Patreon as well. You guys are awesome and definitely help make this all possible. Uh, there's links for all of that and uh, as well as uh, Krabok.com in the description below. You can find more information about the giveaway down there. But yeah, hop, uh, hop in my Discord and say hi to us or just don't forget to uh, enter the giveaway by leaving a comment. All right, guys, I want to thank you all so much for watching and have a great day.